there it is just beyond those trees holy crap I haven't been here in 12 years god I'm like shaking oh my goodness this is a special one I, we just gotta get out and do it holy cow yeah I think the clubhouse is uh no longer open it I mean it's not even there anymore man I never in my life knew that the grill had a specific name here. The four mill grill. We got many Philly cheese steak sandwiches in there. When we were kids, we would uh, like help out around the course in exchange for food. We, like one time we were back behind the range and we'd chip the balls back on and like hand pick. And then we'd do some other stuff like rake the traps and stuff and then give us food every now and then. It was, for us, it was a huge deal. For them, I'm sure it meant nothing. As we're walking to the first tee, I do want to give a big thank you to the Director of Parks and Rec, Mr. Meyer, the Mayor, Mr. Williams, and to the City of North Augusta for getting us out here. Because, as much as I clickbaited the video, we are not trespassing. This is perfectly legal. We obtained all the proper permissions from the City Attorney and the City of North Augusta. So, big thank you to you guys for having us do this legally. Uh, please do not come out here illegally. Please don't trespass. Uh, let's keep this place as pure as it is. This is city property, so we want to do it the right way. We are standing on what used to be the first tee box. That's the first hole behind me there. Downhill, dogleg left, par four. I was not prepared to see it like this. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to see it in any state. I, I would have given any amount of money to be here again. But this, uh, it's, it's amazing how it's been reclaimed by nature. Golly, I cannot believe I'm here right now. Just even swinging a golf club here again. I never ever in my life thought this would be possible. That is so far into the woods, it's not even funny. It's so nice to just hit a tee shot, not care at all where it's going. Just the step foot here again, man. Wow. This is where I fell in love with golf, uh, plain and simple. I'd come here every single day uh, for several years. We were lucky enough to, to get a junior membership here. Uh, it's all we could afford to come here, and it was not in very good shape. The greens were always slow, the fairways always sparse, the range always sandy, but we could afford 60 bucks a month. This is where I cut my teeth. This is where I fell in love with the game and everything that it has to offer. I truly, truly would not be the golfer or the person I am today without the North Augusta Country Club. This place has a special, special place in my heart and it always will. I don't see the green or a flag, but we'll uh, make our best guess here. I'm not even looking for that first ball. 96 yards to the tall piece of grass. This is about where a good drive would land when we were kids. Right down here just as the fairway curves. And then we'd pull out a, you know, whatever. We hit 100 yards back then. Pitching wedge probably, nine iron. And uh, usually didn't have to do that. But what, a, what an amazing approach shot into hole one straight down the chute those trees on the right were not there though where those trees are there was bunkers i don't know why i'm aiming oh yeah that's right on line oh that's yeah front pin you're putting for birdie there you, this is going to sound so dumb and you guys are going to think i'm so naive i thought i was going to hit a putt out here today like i genuinely thought I was going to be able to hit a putt. Obviously one of the reasons this place is so special to me is because it was affordable. It was because for someone like me I got a chance to be on a golf course and basically have free roam. Nobody was here at the end of the life of this golf course. At one point it was a really really spectacular place with a fantastic clubhouse and well-cut greens but that was not the version of North Augusta Country Club that I got to know. The one I got to know was well past its prime. Clubhouse burnt down before I came along. 
And that was a whole slew of problems in and of itself. A lot of controversy surrounded that. But it was an epic fire that had epic results for the club. And a roundabout way, years later, it meant that I could play here for $60 a month. And boy, did we ever play here. Banks, Travis, Jordan, if you guys are watching, I wish you could be here with me to experience this. We played more rounds here than, than maybe anybody ever in the history of North Augusta Country Club. Every day during the summer was a minimum of 27 holes. I vividly remember days we played 54. It was 18 in the morning, 100 range balls, lunch, 18 more, 100 more range balls, and then maybe another nine if we had time. Now, is that why my knees and back are gone in my late 20s? Probably. Would I trade it for the world? Definitely not. Being here again with the azaleas and the pines is interesting. It's not at all what I thought it would be. I'm standing here on hole two, par three, headed that way. Again, where the small pines are used to be bunkers. This course is, um, in its current state, a familiar face with a smile I don't recognize. To stand here and know that I spent hundreds, thousands of hours here in my life. Months, days, years of my life right here. And to not recognize it hurts. This is a reunion I've waited for for 12 years. I've thought nearly every day about this course since that day in 2012. Middle of the summer 2012, uh, we pulled up to the golf course and we found a chain across the entrance. There was a paper sign taped to the chain and it said, members, our apologies, we are closed for the foreseeable future. I was there, played around the day before, I showed up and never set foot on it again. That was the last day and I had no idea it was gonna be the last day. Would it have changed anything? I don't know, maybe. I like to think I would have thrown a few less clubs. I like to think I would have made a few more putts. But every single day of my life for the last 12 years, I've thought about this golf course. This sign I made in college. It hung in my dorm room, 2001 Gregory Lake Road, the address of this place. And this was a sign for when I was sad, when I was upset, when I was disappointed. It hung above my door and I would reach up and touch it every day to remind myself of a place of pure peace. A place I had so many good times and so few bad. Right here, 2001 Gregory Lake Road. Welcome to hole three of the Gusta Country Club. Par five, dog leg right. The tea used to be somewhere in here. Oh boy, if I had a dollar for every time I popped one up into the other fairway. Banks, your first birdie was on this hole and I was there for it. What a memory. Good birdie, man. Did it again. Old time's sake. We are 100 yards from number three green, and as is pretty obvious by the height of the grass, we're not gonna be able to hit a shot here. But the green used to be right in there, just past these trees, two bunkers right up there, and a pond right in front. The second reason this place is so important to me is, without knowing it, and without me ever getting a chance to think it, it got me through the hardest time in my life. Without a doubt, the hardest time in my life. A lot of you guys know that I have two degrees in counseling, um, but I don't counsel anymore. Part of that is I fell in love with teaching. Part of that is I want to be a professional golfer. And part of that is a series of unfortunately timed traumatic events um, that led me away from counseling for my own sanity and safety and health. And this course with Augusta Country Club, unbeknownst to it, 10 years removed from its closure, got me through that. 
without a doubt. Actually, you know what? I think instead of me explaining it, it's just it's just gonna be easier to show you. Uh, so let's head to 5T and um, I got something to show you. I'm go. I'm just getting into like performance mode where I'm like hit a shot, hit a shot, hit a shot. Pick your point. This is, this might be the last time I ever get to hit this shot. And honestly, I never thought I'd get this chance. So I really want to take it all in. Who cares where this thing goes, man? Out of play. Out of play every day of the week. Uh, okay, so how did this one old golf course save my life 10 years after it closed? If you look here in my notebook, I have recreated very faithfully, recreated the entire golf course using my own memory, using Google Earth, uh, and using a lot of patience. I always wanted to play this golf course again, um, but I never thought I'd even set foot on here again. And so I took it upon myself uh, to recreate it in a virtual reality version of this uh, through PGA 2K21. And I took meticulous notes. If we look at hole five here, but I can tell you exactly how many feet above sea level that green is. I can tell you that there's a two foot difference between the bottom tier and the top tier, and a six foot drop to the pond below the front tier. I can tell you it's 18 yards to the leftmost azalea behind the green and 21 yards to the rightmost azalea behind the green. The bunker is a 327 yard carry from the tee box. There's many slopes on the green. It's 31 feet front to back, 22 feet wide. It's exactly seven yards from the front of the green to the water. The tee box is 19 yards wide by 15 yards long, stands 377 feet above sea level. I did every single hole like that. All 18, right here in this book, along with a course map representing the entire layout. And then I used these conversions to create an exact replica of the entire golf course by hand manually, no LIDAR, from my memory, from my notes, from my heart. I recreated North Augusta Country Club, and you can play this golf course if you want. Just have to look up NACC on the search feature of 2K21, and I would encourage you to play it if you have the game, because what I'm learning here is, through my creation, Maybe the only way this course lives on. I consider myself the world's foremost expert on this golf course. And I think my notes back it up. I've got many hours played here. I sunk an entire year, 12 months of my life into painstakingly recreating this course. Whenever I had bad days, whenever it would get the best of me, I went here to the notebook, to Google Earth and to my simulation recreating the place that brought me so much peace, my slice of heaven. So that's how it saved my life. Nine years after it closed, nine years after I hit my last tee shot here, it was still impacting me. I genuinely cannot put it to words how much this place means to me. One 18 hole piece of land that I played thousands and thousands of times. It's never been a course like it, and it never will be. Not for me. Let's be honest, at its height, a pretty good little club. But they weren't holding a PGA Tour event here anytime soon. Definitely wasn't going to be the site of the next U.S. Open. But it didn't need to be. Because it was the site of all of our U.S. Opens. It was the site of our Masters. Me, Banks, Travis, Jordan. We played our own Masters here. So many of these moments, so many of our memories were lived here. 
not only here, but through our imagination. We had PGA Championships, we had US Opens, we had British Opens when they let the rough get a little bit longer. And we had the Masters every spring, complete with our own green jacket from Goodwill. You're looking at the two-time champ of our Masters. I don't know if there's ever been a place more special to a young man than this place was special to me. And if the only way that it lives on is through my notes and through my virtual reality, then so be it. But I truly, truly would give anything to see this place as a golf course again, to play it in a proper condition. The beauty of this place is still undeniable. Even after 12 years of sitting dormant, the potential is still here. And I know North Augusta may have plans for this place, but if I haven't said it enough, this is one more time of me begging, please, please, can we bring this golf course back to anyone out there who will hear me. I am the world's foremost expert on this golf course. And I would be happy, I would be elated to help resurrect it. The city of North Augusta no longer has a public golf course, and I think that's a shame. If anyone out there is listening to me, I know everything there is to know about this golf course. I've recreated it once already. Please, please let me help you rebuild it again. It would be a dream come true. This being here today is more than I could have ever asked for. Just to step foot here again is life-changing. And it hurts. It hurts more than I thought it would. The last time I saw this place was 2012. And until now, it lived on in my mind exactly like I left it. Perfect and pure. The golf course I knew. Now the cart path is covered. The flags are gone. The greens are unkempt. I guess what I'm, what I'm thinking is maybe this is not the image I wanted to be the lasting image of this place. But I guess that's not for me to decide. Lasting image or not, this is the soul of this place. This is the true nature of it. No matter what happens to this land, the soul of North Augusta Country Club will remain unchanged. The trees will grow, the grass will grow, and the earth will turn around North Augusta Country Club, whether it's a golf course or not. And I'm truly thankful above all just to be here today and experience the soul of the place that means so much to me for maybe one last time. Hopefully not, but if it is the final time, what a journey it's been. So I guess I'll sign off on this video um, by saying the thank you to this golf course that I never got to. I cursed the golf course many times, I slammed my clubs many times, shed many a tear here, but I never got to thank it. I never got to thank it for teaching me a uh, love of the game. I never got to thank it for all the memories, for inspiring me to chase my dream. Even now, 12 years later, I'm still chasing that dream. Above all, thank you for saving my life nine years later and for allowing me just to be here for a moment again with you. This is where it all started. If you're gonna know me, if you're gonna know my story, you have to know this golf course, North Augusta Country Club. So I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully I'll see you sometime in the future. I do wanna give one last thank you in this video, and this is the biggest one of all. I gotta thank Kat, my girlfriend, for being out here today, braving the bugs and all of the critters and creepy crawlies, along with the weeds and vines, uh, because this place is pretty overgrown, and it's not really her style, but um, truly no one makes things like this possible as much as she does. Um, I work hard in the gym, I work hard on the golf course, uh, but nobody sacrifices more than her. This doesn't happen, not just here, not just today. This whole channel doesn't happen without her. This whole dream doesn't happen without her. It means a lot just, just to get me out here to a golf course.
to an old piece of property that's run down. Um, thank you. It means the world. And uh, truly, nothing happens without her, guys. So, so let's leave some love in the comments for Kat uh, because this whole thing doesn't work without her. Thanks, Kat.